Gaul united, forming a single nation, animated by a common spirit, can defy the universe. So reads the inscription of a French monument dedicated to the ancient Gallic leader Vercingetorix. The monument was built in 1865 and was essentially a piece of unifying propaganda by the French emperor of the time, Napoleon III. The character that the monument reveres is a fascinating one, however, as he led one of the most famous revolts against Rome in history. The story starts in 52 BC, when Julius Caesar had briefly left Gaul and was in northern Italy, at a secluded spot in a Gallic woodland. Celtic leaders met to discuss the situation with Rome, which was in control of a large percentage of Gaul after six years of war. The Gallic leaders expressed their anger at the fate of Akko, the former leader of the Senonese, a Gallic tribe. The previous year, in 53 BC, Julius Caesar had tried and convicted Akko of treason after the Gallic leader had inspired his people to fight against the Romans. As punishment, Akko had been publicly flogged to death in front of other Celtic chieftains, undoubtedly to send a message. Needless to say, this had left a bitter taste in Celtic mouths and ultimately inspired rebellion. As Caesar wrote in his commentaries, the Celtic leaders decided that it was better to die in battle than to resign themselves to the loss of their ancient military glory and the liberty inherited from their ancestors. The meeting ended after the Gallic leaders took an oath to stand by their fellow Celts against Rome, and it was decided that the Carnute tribe, which meant the horned ones in Gaulish, probably in reference to their helmets, would be the first to strike. The Carnute attack occurred in Senabu, which is modern day Orleans in north central France, when they attacked the Roman force stationed on their territory. The news of the attack spread rapidly through Gaul, fueling a spirit of revolt. The young Vercingetorix of the Arvini tribe was one who proselytised the spirit, inspiring his fellow Celts to rebel. His uncle disagreed, however, feeling that it was too risky to oppose Rome, and expelled his nephew from the town of Gergovia. Undeterred, Vercingetorix began rallying his fellow Celts from the surrounding countryside, and soon after, he was named King of the Arvini tribe. In the following weeks, he managed to unify a whole range of Gallic tribes behind him, and he was elected Commander-in-Chief of the Gallic Resistance.